All right, guys, I'm continuing on the bodywork here a little bit more. Um, I want to get this uh, hood and primer, and then we'll have our whole doghouse in primer, and uh, and we'll also have our deck lid in primer. And then we're going to stop the bodywork for a while. So I wanted to show you what I was doing here. This hood has hail damage. Um, this isn't a, uh, you know, I wouldn't call this a, total restoration or anything like that what I mean is, is we're not stripping the paint off of the panels completely so there's no need for that that opens up a whole new can of worms and can get even more expensive than uh, what we're doing here so this will be just fine for a daily driver we'll have a great finish on it and we'll make uh, we'll make the car nice and straight but I want to show you I've been DA in this with 80 grit uh, I've been using this DA like a block uh, and I've gone over this and I've gotten uh, down as far as I really want to take it. If you notice here, we're starting to kiss a little little metal here. Um, this particular hood has never been worked on. We got our factory primer, uh, probably sealer here is black, then we have our collar, and then we have our clear coat as you can see right there. Um, this hood has been uh, <coughs> and it's got hail damage on it you see all these spots right here you know these are the dents you know where our sandpaper is never touched as we were as I was blocking it out they're all over several of them and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to block this out uh, and sand it down uh, we got the, the edges of the hood here on both sides to do and then I'll show you how I'm going to uh, deal with these little uh, hail dents Now, you can see that we got all of our little spots, uh, we got all the material removed, um, and we went down to the metal, and we barely scratched it with our 36 grit there, you can see. And that'll give us a very, very nice mechanical tooth for our body filler. So the next step now is to dab all these spots with a little body filler, and uh, We'll let her set up and uh, or start start to set up anyway, and then we'll attack it with some uh, 80 grit, and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, so I've gotten it all blocked out uh, the way I want it. It's in 180 now, and uh, I'm going to call it ready for primer. You see our repairs here, how they came out. See how the scratches are filled. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's going to be pretty nice and straight, I think. And uh, should be no issue to block out. And the only thing I got left to do is I'm going to take a red Scotch Brite on this area here, which gets covered up with a <clears throat> piece of molding, and uh, go around the edges, uh, not too aggressively. I don't know if we can see it or not, but remember, we've already jammed this out, so we have blue on our edge here. So. ready to prime it and uh, I'm going to use uh, MP3 HS by Matrix um, this is the first time I ever used that primer and the reason I bring it up is because so far it's laid out uh, better than any primer I've ever shot um, really laid out nice and flows out well um, I was afraid it would be too thick but uh, it's not I'm shooting it with a 1.8 tip I'm not using reducer or anything in it so I'm really liking this primer so far, but we'll see how it sands, but uh, so far, I'm liking it. And, uh, so we're going to throw two to three coats on this, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. So we got, I got that done, and I got a guide coat on it, and um, I'm happy with it. This primer flows out really nice. This is Matrix MP3 HS, and first time I ever shot it is on this vehicle. I already shot it on the fenders, but uh, I had to go kind of slow because I got to only have a 1.8 tip, but I did not have to reduce it to uh, get it on. I was able to keep a nice wet edge, get a nice wet coat on it, so it flows out great. So hopefully it's going to sand as as well as it uh, goes on. So we're done with the body work for the time being. Uh, I'm going to take the car out and do a little bit of a test on it, uh, a driving test um, with the gas engine in it. And then we're going to bring it in here and take the gas engine out and get our electric drive mounted up. So we have much more to come on the car um, and we're starting to get into the good stuff now. So stay tuned. We got a lot more coming up. Thanks guys.